code alert. If any of students are possibly in violation, please send them to the guidance office. Eighth graders, please bring in your baby pictures to be added to the yearbook. Make sure you write your name on the back. Drop them off in the media center. And again, make sure you write your name on the back so they get returned to you. This short video breaks down the basics of barricading in two basic classroom designs. However, there are many different classroom and office designs in our schools. Each have their own unique design and security challenges. That is why it is important that every teacher gives thought now how to best barricade their room should the need arise, and then practice it often with students. Things to consider. Does the door have glass in it or beside it? What type of handle does it have? Does it have a hydraulic opening arm at the top? Does the door handle lock with a key, and do you have to go outside to lock it? Regardless of the door style, the barricade is useful for these purposes. The goal of a barricade is to deny, discourage, or at least delay the attacker from getting inside where you are. You should practice now and divide these tasks among those in your class. Make sure the classroom door is locked from the outside. Cover the windows and close the blinds. Turn off the lights. For traditional doorknobs that swing out, you may use a belt or a rope to help keep the door closed. Do not use your body as part of the barricade. Begin with the largest, bulkiest, and heaviest object first. Hint, plan ahead by pre-staging furniture that could be effective for barricading near the door. If not equipped with wheels, you might opt to place magic sliders under the corners to make the furniture easier to move. Remove the magic sliders or lock the wheels if applicable once in place. Add additional furniture on top and around the barricade to make it stronger. Think about desks, chairs, cabinets, or any large objects. Spread out around the room. Get low and pick up objects that could be thrown at the intruder as a distraction if they make it inside. Here are some tips for barricading in large rooms with large floor-to-ceiling windows, double doors with windows, and push bars. A belt will not work with a push bar exit. Make sure the door is locked from the outside when closed. Begin with the largest, bulkiest, and heaviest object first against the doors. Be careful not to wedge the furniture against the release bar. Add additional furniture on top and around the barricade to make it stronger. Use furniture at the lower half of the large windows to create an additional obstacle and provide some shielding. A conference table, multi-purpose table, or several smaller tables may do the trick. Apply the same strategy for the doors that have large windows in them. Spread out around the room, get low, and pick up objects that can be thrown at the intruder as a distraction if they make it inside. Did your yearbook photo come out not as planned? If you bought pictures, you can attend Picture Retake Day, Wednesday, November 8th. If you are a student who is in need of a coat or a jacket because it is 40 degrees outside, please let us know. We have plenty of jackets, sweatshirts, long sleeve shirts, etc. We want to make sure that we provide that to you. Um, please don't be too proud because it is some nice stuff. You can now visit the school website to order your yearbook. There will be only $20. Prices will rise after winter break. Let me introduce to you Nathaniel Smiley. Nathaniel, come on up. Thank you, my man. Stand right here with me. The Bengals have selected Nathaniel Smiley for Student of the Month, and they say that they chose Nathaniel because he always has a positive attitude in class. He offers to help anyone that may need assistance and welcomes new students regularly. Good for you. He participates and asks questions when he doesn't understand, all the while doing it with a smile on his face, as you can see this morning. So thank you, my man, and congratulations to you. All right. Next, we have Carly Kelby. Carly Kelby is not here, but I do want to read to you why Carly was chosen. The Ligers selected Carly Kelby for Student of the Month because Carly is a wonderful student. She's a hard worker and always on task in her classes. We are glad that she's part of the Liger team. Keep up the good work, Carly. So congratulations to her. Thomas Matthews. Thomas Matthews was selected by the Panthers. Here's your certificate, my man. Thank you very much. Come on, stand right here with me. The Panthers selected Thomas Matthews for Student of the Month because he's a great person and works hard in all of his classes. I love that part of it because what do we say here in our Cougar Nation? Work hard, be nice. All right, good job, Thomas. Appreciate that. The next Student of the Month is from the Mountain Lions, Island Chaco. 
Here is your certificate, and thank you, my man. Come on, stand right here with me. The Mountain Lions have selected Island Chaco for Student of the Month because Island is a hardworking student and an asset to all of his classmates. He's a conscientious, conscientious worker and has demonstrated respect and responsibility for himself and his teammates. It is a pleasure to have him in class and to honor him as Student of the Month. And the two words I really liked in that description of this young man was respect and responsibility. So thank you so much, my friend. All right. Next student of the month is Morgan Kennel. Come on in, Morgan. Here's your certificate, and thank you very much. Stand right here with me, please. The Bobcat selected Morgan Kennel for student of the month because she is always prepared to learn, keeps a neat planner. Organization is close and dear to my heart. Uh, she is polite and is an A student. She is a good role model for other 8th graders, and I always say that about the 8th grade, right? Be the leaders of the school. You guys are the oldest, the wisest, the maturest kids on our campus, so be leaders in our campus, and I appreciate you and applaud you for your efforts. Thank you. The next student of the month is Zach Hewitt. My man! How are you? Here's your certificate, my friend, and thank you so much. Zach was nominated by the Pumas for student of the month, what a wonderful young man the Pumas have on their team. Zach shows up ready to work on a daily basis. He is always engaged and focused and ready to please. Zach gives his all in every class and the Pumas wouldn't be the same without him. Those are very strong words. So thank you so much, Zach. Congratulations to you. The next student of the month is Angel Aponte. Angel, thank you, my man. Here's your certificate, stand right here. Angel's gonna make me look short. The Snow Cubs have selected Angel Aponte for Student of the Month. The Snow Leopards are proud to nominate Angel as Student of the Month. Angel has made a great transition to his new school in class. He is a hard worker and takes pride in his work and accomplishments. Despite outside challenges, Angel is amazingly kind, respectful, and helpful to everyone. And we are so happy to have him with us. And I want to tell you on a personal note, Angel, my wife has told me all about you from Cruise Lake. Is that where you were from? And she wanted me to find you and say hello and welcome to Hudson Middle School on her behalf. So hello from my wife. Okay? Small world, folks. Everybody knows everybody. Thank you. Oh, Carly. Carly Calme. Here you go. Here's your, come here, come on, come on in, shake my hand, and smile for the camera. This is Carly Kelly, I'm so glad you made it down. Okay, and Carly was student of the month for the Ligers. Okay, thank you very much, honey. Trevion Mack is not here, but Trevion Mack was nominated by the reading team for student of the month. He's a hardworking student, motivated to succeed, and a good role model, and a pleasure to have in class what a wonderful description of Trevion Mack. He's one of my faves. Randall Zerwas is not here. Randall was nominated from the CTE team for Student of the Month. Randall continually has the top winning design in all of the courses he's in. He's ready to lend a hand to students in need of assistance on their projects at all times. So keep up the great work, Randall. That's awesome. And then our last student of the month from the fine arts team is Cheyenne McGuire. Here's your certificate. Thank you so much for coming. Right there's the camera. The fine art team selected Cheyenne for student of the month because she demonstrates superior determination and overcoming difficulties and responsibility by being prepared and using extra effort to get the job done. Cheyenne is a very responsible, motivated, and confident student. Good for you. She comes to school every day with an excitement for learning and a dedication for going above and beyond. And I would add to that that she's a wonderful artist who has shown me her artwork and she should be very proud of that as well. So congratulations to you, honey. Thank you so much. So thank all of you once again for coming down as Student of the Month. I want to thank all of our staff for nominating these students.